Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to speak to your people, Father God. I pray that we do with this as you want us to, Father. In Jesus' holy, mighty name, glory to you, God. Thank you for everything, God. In Jesus' name, amen. So I originally had this vision, I believe it was August 15th, and I did not share it because I was just really busy. Me and my children have been very busy painting and just getting our house in order, mostly painting, caulking different things and things of that nature, reorganizing, decluttering, all that kind of stuff. So I've just been really busy and we were in the middle of painting and all of a sudden I saw this beautiful vision of Jesus. He was absolutely gorgeous and it was so real. It was like he was really there and I saw him walking up to the house and my house was painted and as he was walking to the house, there was this, it's hard to explain, it was like these flowers and these stones like these decorative stones but they were like inside of each other and it was the lord telling me i had a knowing of this that he was telling me that i could do either one but i had decorated the walkway so as he was walking up it was like the lord telling me either i can put flowers along the walkway or i could put these decorative stones along the walkway praise god He was just walking up to the walkway with this huge smile on his face. And as he's walking up to the walkway, I had a knowing that he owned the place. He was welcomed in our home. He was invited into our home. It was his home. It was like he's the father of this home. He owns the place and it's welcoming for him. It was just a beautiful, beautiful vision. And my house was painted white. Praise God. And I will be honest and say, saints, I have no money to paint my house and I give God the glory because my faith is strong. So I'm not going to worry about it. And I told God, he's the father of this home. If God wants to make it happen, he'll make it happen. So I'm not going to worry about that. So we are doing what we can on the inside of the house and I will let God do the rest. Amen. Because on top of that, I was recently told that I have roof issues, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But anyway, moving right along, we were at Lowe's, me and my oldest daughter and my granddaughter, and we were coming out of Lowe's and the devil was just trying to get me really worried about getting the house painted and how am I going to afford that? And, you know, all this kind of stuff, because my oldest daughter had a dream, I believe it was, where she saw that we were not doing it, that we had hired someone to do it. And so I was like, how am I going to afford that? So the devil was trying to get me worried. And all of a sudden I was like, no, I rebuked the devil in Jesus name. So I looked up this song that the Lord had given me and I already did a community post about this song. And I want to give the lyrics right now. This was four days ago. The Lord had given me this song as soon as I awoke and the Holy Spirit was singing. God, you never fail. Oh, I have reason to trust you. God, you never fail. Oh, I have reason to trust you. It was just singing over and over in my spirit. Praise God in Jesus name. And so I brought those lyrics up and I began to sing them in my spirit. I said, I'm not going to worry. God is my God. He is my father. I'm not going to worry about what God has shown me that I'm going to have happen. So that's the end of that. And all of a sudden, right before my eyes, I saw this giant vision of Jesus. He was massive and he was muscle bound, muscles all over the place. And the vision said that he was all powerful and he was all wealthy, all wealthy, all powerful. And as I'm seeing him standing before me, you guys, I wish you could see this. I cannot find a picture that will do the exact justice of what I saw. It was amazing. Just imagine this giant, giant vision of Jesus standing before me with all these muscles saying that he is all powerful and he is all wealthy right before my face. Beautiful, you guys, majestic, majestic. And as I'm seeing this, I'm feeling him on the inside of me. So, you know, I see these powerful things and it's really hard to explain this, right? You know, how can I explain this? I'm seeing it and I'm feeling it at the same time. And it was God letting me feel his power, his wealth. 
And I was like, do you know what kind of a God that we serve? I'm not going to sit here and gravel and be, oh, how am I going to do this? God is showing me these visions. I don't know how to make it happen. I don't know. I said, you know what? I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I'm going to believe and trust in the living God. And I don't know how it's going to happen. But I will say this, you guys. I was minding my business in a store. And I saw these guys and I was like, I wonder if they can just give me an estimate on how much it would cost to paint the house if they are painters. I saw them as they was leaving out of the store with their goods. And I was like, you know, they're leaving out and I don't want to just assume that they do work. So I'm just going to go in the store and mind my business. So I go in the store and all of a sudden they must have came back in the store and I'm in line and they're in front of me. And I started to ask them again, but I said, I don't want to just assume they do work. So I don't want to say anything. And then I read one of their shirts and it said that they do remodeling. And I'm like, huh, let me just ask them, you know, they're right here. And so I just asked them and they they was like, yeah, we have a company. They gave me their company name and they was like, yeah, we paint houses. And I was like, really? Well, I'm just trying to get an estimate. And it was like, yeah, we can come out like today or tomorrow, whenever. I was like, really? Okay, so let's make it happen. So they are going to come out and give me an estimate. So I was like, if God makes this happen by some miraculous miracle, praise be to God. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, I want to get into this because God himself told me to include this as well. So this happened to me, I want to say it was two days ago, I believe, two or three days ago. I was praying to God, you guys, God in heaven, hear me. I was not thinking about this hallway that I want to address one day. It's my entrance hallway. It has this hideous wallpaper on the walls that I don't like it. I don't like wallpaper at all. What I may do for that hallway, I'm thinking about putting contact paper on some foam boards and then using command strips to put it on the wall. So if anybody sees in a future video that it looks like I have wallpaper, it's not really wallpaper. So let me just throw that out there. But anyway, I don't like wallpaper because it's affixed to the wall and I don't like having to take it off because I've seen that before. That's just my personal preference. So I wasn't thinking about this interest way, you guys, as God in heaven, hear me. I was praying to the Lord about something completely away from this that I was quite emotional and really praying to God about and really believing in God about. And all of a sudden, God just spoke to me about this hallway and about this wallpaper. And he told me clear as day, paint the wallpaper. And I was like, what you guys in my entire life? I don't think I've ever heard of that in my entire life. I was like, what? You can paint wallpaper. But I'm like, I know that that's God. So I looked it up immediately on YouTube. Can you paint wallpaper? And I was in shock. It's a thing. It's apparently it's a thing. You have to put some kind of bonding stuff on it and then paint it and get some plaster. And it's a process. It's a real thing. And I was like looking at it like, hmm, I can do that. So I'm in shock right now. And when I get to that hallway, I plan to paint it. So I was like, praise God. So God is just giving me all of these visions. Thank you, Father. The Lord just spoke to me again and told me to say this as well. Thank you, Lord. Let me say this too. I just released a dream, my last video before this one of this same type of thing. And if you look at that, I released that days after I had the dream because I've been very busy. And what made me finally get that dream out and get to getting these visions out was the fact that God spoke to me and he said, you are painting, you are preparing your home for my arrival, but you're not giving the saints the opportunity to do the same thing. Like you're not telling them that they need to do this as well. And I was like, oh, okay, God, let me get these videos out. So I said, okay, I need to take a break and get these videos out because this is where the Lord is leading us right now. You know, we can do what we can, whether that's decluttering, organizing, cleaning, pest control, you know, spiders, ants, whatever, and caulking your home properly. You know, the Lord has ministered to me about that recently, and I've done community posts about that as well. Amen. I've done a couple of them. 
and painting and whatever you can do. You know, the Lord is leading us to do these things. And I want to encourage anyone that is poor, that doesn't have the money, you guys, I have been there. I am there. Trust in the Lord. The Lord will provide if you put your trust in him. And I told God that because you guys, I did not have the money to do the things that I'm doing. And God dropped this money in my lap that I'm doing right now. Now, I still don't have the money to paint the house and this roof stuff that I don't even want to talk about. But I told God, you are the father of this home, Lord. You showed me these things. So I pray, God, that you make it happen. And the Lord has been dropping money in my lap to get these things done. And I praise and thank God for that. And I'm going to continue to believe in the living God. And I pray that you all do the same, you guys. And if you haven't seen my video before this one, please see it, you guys. It's not only a call to prepare our home. It is also a call to get away from celebrating Halloween. And it sounds so crazy to me that saints are still doing this. I mean, <laughs> sometimes I think, really, God, really? Are saints still trying to celebrate that wicked, evil day? Is this for real? You guys, I have had so many prophetic dreams about how God hates Halloween. I don't care what they call it, trick or treat, trunk or treat, whatever. They try to put a spin around it. They try to throw some fairy dust on it. They try to sprinkle some scripture on it, whatever they're trying to do. It is satanic. You cannot take something that is satanic and try to make it holy. God hates Halloween. And I'll see if I can find some videos that I've done about it through the years. If I put Halloween in a title. Sometimes I don't put it in a title, so it makes it really almost impossible for me to find a video. But if I can find any of the previous videos that I've had, the prophetic dreams that I've had about it, I'll put it in a description box. I'm really excited about this move that God is doing in the church right now. He is saying, prepare for his arrival. And that's what we're doing. I love you all. God bless you. Bye.